Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince, and I'm here with another Barbie unboxing. Today, we have got another Barbie extra, and that is Barbie extra number 20. Can you believe there have been 20 dolls already in the series? That is wild. But she is very cute. She is giving a weird mix of, like, 90s pop aesthetic. Like, very Lisa Frank inspired, I feel like. And she has got big bows, she's got butterfly clips, she has got some like stylized daisies, and I'm loving the sweater that she's wearing. In addition to that, she's got some really cute pink cowboy boots on. And her hair is like a two-tone gray and violet and like deep blue, blue so technically like three-tone, I guess. And she's got a cute little koala, so... We are going to unbox her and figure out if we have the right shade of Made to Move for her body. Because unfortunately she is just articulated. But I'm hoping that we can use our curvy blonde Made to, look, made to Move looks doll for her. I'm fingers crossed this is going to be the right shade. But as you can see, she is really pretty in the box. Here is her pictures here on the back. Very cute. I'm not digging the sunglasses, but at least they're transparent. And she's really, really cute. She's got this little butterfly ring on. Like, there's a lot going on. So here is her UPC and item number. She is still in stores. I picked her up for $17 on Amazon the other day. And I figured I would do the review. I'd been waiting for her to go on sale because just to me, these dolls are not worth 25 for what they offer. So that's why I generally wait for them to go on sale. But now that I have her, let's get her out of this box, right? So we've got some tabs. I think they changed up the way these dolls are in the box on the series, if I remember right. Sorry, Minnie. Okay. Put it there, okay. So here she is out of the box. She is very cute. She's got a lot going on. We're going to tilt her down. And we're going to start uh, getting her free of all this plastic holding around. But look at those cute pink cowboy boots. Like, I am living for that. Okay. There's a lot going on with her hair, unfortunately. I'm not loving the way that looks. She's got a lot of box hair going on right now. Um, but we'll hit it with just a little bit of a brush here in just a second. So just look at that face, so pretty. What face mold is that? So that's a 2014. I don't think that's an open mouth Millie. She's got a little bit of a mark there on her cheek. So I may have to take off with a little bit of acetone, but that's okay for now. But just look at that face, so pretty. That purple lip, so cute. Okay, yeah, all right. So let me get my little comb. Let's 
So we can try to get this box hair untangled. I think it's even worse because of the material her sweater is made out of. I think that is the issue. But that's okay. That is the only problem with some of these really long hair dolls is it starts to get just natty right there, but it's okay. We'll do a little bit more with a cute little, uh, with our little spray bottle and stuff. but she looks so cute. Okay. So of course we've got a couple of staples holding her jacket in the same spot. So we've got to get those out of the way. so we can take her jacket off and actually see what all she's got going on. But go, we've got our butterfly ring, very cute. I don't often style dolls with rings just because they are a little bit harder to do on a doll. This one does not want to let that sweater pass. Okay. Got a cute little scrunchie. Very 90s, but just look at this. This is so cute and so well constructed, surprisingly. Like there are um, liners sewn around the edges because it's knit. Like that's very well constructed. That is a good piece. I'm not a huge fan of those giant bows but it's a really well-constructed piece. And she's got two necklaces on. They are independent. Um, and these shorts actually have a bit of like a tie-dye feel to them. And then here are her cute cowboy boots that have some flowers built on there. They do have the heads on the bottom of them, which means they're gonna fit curvy and tall. Here are her earrings. Very cute. Here are her little clips. It does look like they are actually clips where you can just slide them up. But they are held on with some thread. So, while I think I'm gonna leave them on, um, you could just take them off pretty easily. All right, let me get the last of her things out. So it wouldn't be Barbie Extra if there wasn't a pet that ate up two or three of the pieces. Okay, so there are the sunglasses for the koala, because the koala needs sunglasses, yes. I like to think of these more as like Build-A-Bears or whatever. No, uh, no articulation or anything, but it's actually a pretty cute koala. If you look at them like that, like they're just like Build-A-Bears, you know, it makes them a little less tiresome. But, let me get the last ones out. She's got her little bag. We've seen this mold before. It is only painted on one side, unfortunately. We've got our cute little sunglasses, kinda. I don't know, they're very weird looking. And then our little raised, like puffy stickers. Kinda fun, but a little unnecessary. 
Anyway. So, we've also got a little beaded pink bracelet over here. Very cute. Now, the real question is going to be, which doll does she match? So, we are going to try to figure that out. So, first we have our tall volleyball, Millie, and a pretty good match. We have our regular, or our original, made to move Alex Morgan, also matches. Now the one I'm hoping, because if not I only have one other option that's going to work and keep her curvy, is the Barbie Lux L. No, this was not L. This was the, oh gosh, I've completely lost her face mold name. Either way, she's a Barbie looks from the more recent series and it does look like she's gonna match okay. If we look at the arms and things, She's gonna be a little light, but kind of perfect for that body color, I think. So that's gonna be that one. Our only other option that we have is our Samantha Christopher Reddy doll. And she is this one. So that's a good match also. These are a little bit harder to find though. So I think I'm gonna just use the L for right now. Just because I'd rather keep a perfect match in my pocket for a doll that I absolutely completely adore kind of thing. So these two if you want to make her original or tall. This one for curvy to keep her body type. Um, Fortunately, we don't have a petite in the skin tone that is readily available right now. Gloria from the Barbie movie is this skin tone, if a little bit darker, maybe half a shade, but she is not readily, she's a $50 doll. So, you know, make of that what you will. So I'm gonna prep this doll. And we are going to get our other doll ready. I do this part off screen now because it gives people anxiety when I rip their heads off without doing a boil wash or whatever. My motto is if the head is already squishable, you're not really doing anything by heating it up anymore. So, I just kind of do it like that. Very easy. And look at the difference in how these two are sitting. That's why I like rebodying all of my dolls to Made to Move. Because the articulated are good, but they're just not perfect. Like, they're not good enough considering what we can actually have from Mattel. So we've got her shorts, and I'm going to notice her head nice and soft. She's got a lot going on on her head, actually. Kind of had to do that more carefully so I didn't mess up her hair or her earrings. But we've got her head off, and the reason I wanted to do that 
separately is because I want to save this rubber band. So that way I can take her other stuff and put it on. Now, I like to put these on under the clothes so you don't see them quite as much, which is easier to do when the head is not on the body. So you just do it like that and like this. I'm going to take these. like that. You can put them through one or both. Um, I usually just do them through the front one to give them a little more traction on the bottom, but that's a little bit easier to do under the clothes in my opinion because even when you have a high neckline you can just slide it under the necklace like I'll show you. like that. And now we've got our necklaces not going anywhere and we also don't have that plastic that's going across our torso. Um, but, and then we just pop her outfit back on like this. I'm going to close that up so we don't get any other stuff. We've got our boots back on. Just like that, looking good. All right. Now, I'm actually going to grab my little spray bottle and my metal comb to just kind of even out her hair. Just use a little like Walmart um, spray bottle. This has just got a little bit of, uh, well, actually, I think it's mainly um, fabric softener. And we just kind of massage it in just a little bit. And then we're going to just try to. Try to tease it through just to give it a little bit more sleek. And we're just going to try to go through all four sides. Now you notice you hear a little bit of that tearing. That's okay. We're going to wind up with a, just a little bit of hair loss. Just to try to get it through. As you can see, still a little, little damp. but we're going to try to just kind of like keep these earrings forward. And because we're not trying to mess up her hairstyle, we're gonna hold it right there at the top. Well, actually, Scrunchy it just a little bit with just a towel just to get out that excess moisture and then do a wide comb comb through just to try to get that a little bit smoother there towards the ends. Now as you can see it's not perfect still but we also didn't use any heat or anything to try and um, to try and perfect it. 
And now, normally what I would do is I would try to hit this with my blow dryer real quick, but I think what we're gonna do is just kinda, just fan it through, just like that. Just to give it just a little bit there on the bottom. All right, and then we're gonna put her back on her body. Just like that. There she goes, she looks a little bit better. And again, when she dries, she's gonna look a little bit better than this. But for now, it's pretty good. She's not tangled at least. So, like she could probably benefit from just like a full squirt of like a spray on the back, but yeah, we're just gonna, just a, just a little like that. Just to get some of those flyaways on this side, just to tease down just a little bit. Now you could also just use a little bit of conditioner and water. I generally use my fabric softener just because it fit, it hits a little bit better, I think, in my opinion. But it works either way. And then just a little bit more of that. And then we're just gonna pop it through just to try and make her just a little bit, just a little bit more manageable. And she looks great this way, I think. But we did lose just a little bit of hair. These brushes or these combs are great. I got them on Amazon. I just searched metal combs. Um, but they are great because they do not kind of like screw up with your um, with your smaller dolls and things. Okay. And so there she is. Let's see what her glasses look like on. So that's what her glasses look like. You can still see her eyes, which is great. I'm, I'm really good with that. We've got her other little scrunchy thing that goes over here on this hand. Bada bing, bada boom. We've got her little purse. Actually, I would have done this over the shoulder. Um, a little hard to do it over the head, necessarily. You can, I think, do it over the head when you're not um, constricted by butterfly clips, but makes a better crossbody bag than just a shoulder bag. And she looks really cute, I think. I'm still not entirely pleased with her hair. I may have to boil wash her and restyle her, but it's okay. And then again, the rings. I don't hate the rings, but it does mean she can't hold anything in that hand and the rings are always oversized. So just my opinion on those, but still fun. And she's worth the 16 that I paid for her. Not worth the uh, 24, I don't think. She's only got the one, two, three, four fashion pieces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven accessories. Not including the purse that's a brick and only painted on one side, which is disappointing. Um, but yeah, she's really pretty. Like, I'm definitely glad I got her, but I'm glad I waited to uh, get her at a reasonable price. I'm gonna let 
her dry out just a little bit. So if you guys have questions on this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.